Hello, Mountaineer family. Misha Poor here, Vice President for the Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Let's talk. Today, let's talk about ableism. In very basic terms, ableism is thinking people with typical abilities are somehow superior to people with disabilities. Take a look at this illustration. It shows a group of students waiting to get into a school whose entryway is covered with snow. One student in a wheelchair asks if the ramp could be cleared. An employee says that they will get to the ramp after clearing the steps for the others. This reflects a flawed perspective. We often make decisions and take actions based on the belief that if we only focus on a few people by doing things differently, the majority somehow won't benefit. But as this case illustrates, it's often true that taking care to include the few also serves everyone. Now, not all disabilities are obvious or apparent to others, but what we end up doing is we put people in the position of having to explain their disabilities or defend their need for disability rights rather than taking the time to accommodate people or create universal accessibility. So how can you make sure to avoid ableism, you ask? Here's a few suggestions. Believe people. When people disclose that they have a disability, never accuse people of faking their disability. When planning an event, ensure that it is located in an accessible location. Include closed captioning on videos and alternative text on images. Don't assume you know what someone needs, ask what might be most helpful. And unless explicitly asked, do not speak on behalf of someone with a disability. Never touch a person without their consent, including people with disabilities or the mobility equipment. And remember, accommodating others does not create more work or cost more, but it does show you care and you respect them. Like they say, when you know better, you do better, and we all can do better. So until next time, let's go Mountaineers.